Now let's take a look at a report by hitting this little report page right here. And it will generate the report and any information that you took on that exam, any calculations will show up on there. I didn't take any real velocity measurements or anything of the sort, so that all we have right here is the volume two axis measurement. If I had taken some in Doppler or something of that sort, it would appear there. And then I can click on images here to enter into the report. Obviously, the cine loop with the little film strip isn't going to go on the report. The image of it will go onto the report. And you'll see how it is entered onto there. And I can scroll through the images by clicking on the left and right keys here. So from there, we can send via DICOM structured reporting, export, print, or just save that report, and we'll save it to that patient's file. It says save complete. I can click up here and exit that screen. Finally, we'll show how to export the exams. We're going to click on this archive button right here. And here it shows the archive for this patient. If I want to see previous exams or send them, I will hit on that archive. But here I want to select the images that I want to send. And I have a USB stuck in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit send images here. All this will depend on what it does, uh, depending on how your system is set up in the system setup, which we'll get to in the next chapter. You go ahead and hit send image, and here I can choose DICOM storage. I do not have anything set up in there that's set up someplace else. I do have uh, a USB flash drive in, so I can hit U disk, choose bitmap or JPEG for those images, and I click export. At this time, uh, any of the loops that you export will be in a special format and you want to talk to your salesperson about getting the viewer uh, that will allow you to view the cine loops on a PC. At this version the cine loops are in the proprietary Chison format and you need their special viewer. The images, the static image, will come in JPEG or bitmap, whichever you choose, and you can view those on any PC without any particular reader. So here I can continue the exam or go to a new exam, go to the archive, select a previous exam and I can also send those exams the same way by hitting send exam and it'll say send everything in that folder to the UDISC or the DICOM depending on how you set up and of course you'd hit export. This will send the entire patient folder when you click on this including the reports so typically if you're sending over DICOM or exporting this is typically what you'd want to do unless you're just saving very specific images that you'd want to do. You can also search for patient by name up top say test. If I just type test, it appears right there. That's the one I'm doing. And it'll say how long, how far back do you want me to go? All patients, one year, six months, couple of days, etc. Multiple choice here. If I check that, I'm just going to go back to that uh, full patient list. If I check multiple choice, it'll let me select multiple patients. And then I can also e export those to USB. So unclick that. But going back to a patient, if we wanted to restart a new exam on this patient, like we talked about before, we can open up that patient, hit continue exam, which if you've ended the exam, this will not appear. But you can review the images, do a new exam on that patient. So if I do that, here's that patient's information, and I would start a new study, or just click OK. And there we have all that. Next, we'll get into the system setup and connectivity.